The Shriver Center on Poverty Law is an advocacy organization. We change rules to change lives. Poverty is a policy choice, and we can make different choices. And so changing the rules that keep people stuck in poverty, that's what we do. So Shriver works on all these systems. So we work on housing justice. We work on economic justice. We work on healthcare justice. So when I joined Shriver Center, it was to help move forward the work of a state task force that the governor had appointed. Um, being able to move, pull this task force together, bring all those advocates and all those folks who make decisions and, and get in a room and talk about what are, the, what are the things we need to advocate collectively for. And being able to bridge that gap in understanding between here's what's really happening and then how can Shriver begin to educate. It's really how I met Carmen. So at Lawrence Hall, I am an educator there. Um, I work in the therapeutic day school, which ranges from elementary to beyond high school. A lot of our students there are part of the foster care system, so oftentimes they'll come from one school to a next school, and there's a lot of gaps that happen. So it's just a lot of like filling in and figuring out, hey, what student's struggling in, their, in this class and what do they need help with? And then figuring out, okay, what's the best way that I can help catch them up? You know, I came out and that's how I ended up homeless. I came out as gay at the age of 18. And having a mentor is is the reason why I am where I am today. And I was just fortunate, I was so fortunate enough to have good relationships in my with my professors that they let me sleep on their couch or in their spare bedroom or stay with them on breaks. Being of service to me is making sure that you know, I'm taking care of those that have also taken care of me and paying that forward. My mom's, my mom's having in my life has been one of the best things that has happened to me. Um, it started off as like a mentorship and now um, they're family. So I think in the housing context, the rules are sort of a, a racially restrictive covenant, and it keeps getting rewritten and rewritten and rewritten in different ways. So it gets rewritten by redlining, or it gets rewritten through the use of credit reports in a certain way, or criminal background screening in a certain way. And I think we have to stop rewriting it. Um, we have to tear up the covenant and make rules that are actually equitable, not sort of subtle restatements of the same of the same things we've been doing to to entrench racism and poverty. So there are lots of rules that are set up to report and surveil families, as opposed to serving and caring and taking care of families. So even when you think about a policy around um, child and family welfare, what we really want to invest in is young people like Carmen who are in this system, that there, there's not just one Carmen, there are many, many Carmens who are out here trying to elevate themselves and we need to flip those, we need to flip those dollars and those resources to lend themselves to keeping families together as much as possible. When I dream of a better community and better nation for those around me. I dream of peace and love surrounding everywhere. I dream that children don't have to question their worth, question if they're loved, question if they're good enough. These students have gone through things that you would never even imagine, and yet they wake up every day with smiles on their faces, and they still go to school, and they're still trying their absolute best. No, they may not have the best days, but you could just see in them, those are everyday warriors. They're resilient. There is a particular student I have. Oh man, is she my, she's my heart right there. Um, and she's 14 years old and she is transgender and she's confident and so beautiful. And unfortunately, in a similar situation to myself, she, her parents were not supportive of that. And now she's in the system, proudly who she is. And I tell her all the time, like, you are amazing, you're resilient. An everyday warrior leads with love. An everyday warrior hopes for peace. An everyday warrior has resilience. An everyday warrior serves others. An everyday warrior is Carmen. 
I am Carmen and I am an everyday warrior.